Today is Sunday and I made my Mexican inspired chicken chili in the slow cooker. I have this recipe recorded and I will put the link below. Sometimes I serve it with cornbread. I'll put the link for that recipe below as well. Today we are having it with tortilla chips. We are going over to friend's house after our evening service at church and I am making my autumn salad with the maple dressing. I have this recorded and I will put the link below and I'll also insert a picture of what it looks like when it's all made. But I just wanted to share this with you because I know a lot of you said that you wanted to bring it to a friend's house for a get together or you have. So I usually do the spinach and walnuts in the bowl because I feel like that'll be fine. I just leave the cheese separately and then I just cut the apples right before we are ready to eat and that way they don't turn brown. And then I just have the dressing all whisked together so I can just pour that on. So it really is just a couple minutes of assembly once we are there and are ready to eat. I took this picture of what it looks like all together from my recipe video. So I'll link that below for you guys. Today is Monday. I completely switched what I was going to have according to my menu, but I do that sometimes. I made spaghetti with meat sauce. I remember that I recorded myself making marinara in one of my What's For Dinner videos. If I can find that, I'll link that below. I made it the same. I change out the vegetables sometimes and I just added meat to it. So I have the tomatoes um, with the tomato sauce, spinach, yellow bell pepper, onion, and garlic, and then the spices and everything in this. Sometimes I add carrots, even the stock of broccoli you can put in your food processor. If your kids aren't big veggie eaters, you can really add a lot to your marinara. And then I sauteed some summer squash and zucchini. I just sauteed it with just a little bit of olive oil, garlic, and salt. And it's really good. It doesn't need a whole lot. And then I made some garlic bread for my guys. Today is Tuesday and my dinner doesn't look very pretty, but oh man, it's going to be good. I made shepherd's pie. I use ground beef instead of lamb. And then I made homemade biscuits. It's John's grandma's recipe, but I made them gluten-free so they don't look as good as regular biscuits, but hopefully they'll be really good. I do have the shepherd's pie recipe recorded, so I will put the link below. Today is Wednesday and I made my black bean and quinoa burritos with cilantro pesto. I actually used brown rice this time because I had a bunch of it and I wanted to use it up, but I do have the recipe recorded, so I will put the link below. And we are having some blackberries and raspberries on the side, and then I probably won't show it, but we have vanilla ice cream and mango sauce for dessert later. This is Christian's bowl, but I wanted to show this to you guys. They have vanilla ice cream with mango puree or mango pulp. I mentioned this over the summer. One of my friends got this for us from an Indian store. So I don't know if you have those in your area, but it is so good. It's really great on ice cream. Today is Thursday, and on the way home from school, my boys and I decided we wanted breakfast for dinner. So we have some toast, sorry, it's so steamy, over easy eggs. Uh, Christian's making some scrambled eggs. We have turkey bacon and some fried potatoes. Today is Friday and I'm getting ready to leave with some friends for a ladies get together so the guys are on their own for dinner tonight. Thank you so much for watching.